I am Emmett Till. I am Trayvon Martin. The, the struggle continues. Well, the play takes place in the last seven uh, minutes of Trayvon's life under the tarp. What were the things he was thinking about? His mother, his girlfriend, his love of the, of the Miami Heat, you know, uh, his dream of being a pilot, which was deferred. And so all of the set and all the elements are Trayvon's mind. I didn't know really anything about him. I just knew his name, where he was from, and what happened to him. But uh, going through the play, I realized he's someone like me. He, want, I, he wants to be a pilot. I want to, you know, be in the Air Force. He, he had a girlfriend. You know, everybody wants to talk to girls. It doesn't mean chase after somebody who's turned their back. I wrote it for every American, but particularly for those kids, those brown and black kids who walk in the streets and feel that they are targets and feel tired of being targets as citizens in their own country. The white man with the red, white and blue axe can cut out the branches of our beautiful tree. The great thing in America is always here to keep a black boy from growing a manhood. Black boys who look like me. I have a mission here. I have to I have to let people know who Trayvon was. And I have the I have the you know the role of being Trayvon. So even though it's scary, I'll never be I'll never be as tired or as as uh, you know scared as Trayvon. He's a good man. And if there's any lesson from this play, it is that we are more alike than different, but there are differences. And we can only truly move ahead as a country if we acknowledge our shared painful past only then can we have true reconciliation in America. I am a bullet in your gun, so maybe you can tell me. What have I become?